Later on a warm April's evening, as the last light seeped out of the sky, the wind was as soft as a whisper, and it moved through the reeds with a sigh. In that mystical, magical twilight, in that pause between daytime and night, a young rabbit lay still, calm and peaceful, until an eerie sound gave him a fright. The sound seemed to be all around him, a noise like a creaky old gate, or a rusty mechanical monster. It made rabbit's whiskers vibrate. The goat took his back, whispered Badger. I call him the screech hawk, said Deer. Gabble ratchet toad spat, razor grinder squeaked back, and rabbit eyes widened with fear. Poor rabbit imagined a creature with terrible teeth and red eyes, and he whispered, Deer, does it eat rabbits? Oh no, someone laughed, mostly flies. A mottled bird stood there and chuckled. I eat beetles and dragonflies too, and moths. Some folk call me Moth Gobbler, but I never eat bunnies like you. But Mr. Bird, what should I call you? There are so many names I could use. That's true. I'm the fern owl, the door hawk, the lich flower, the night jar. I don't mind. You choose. And where did you come from, asked Rabbit? Far, far away, squeaked the bat. Further than those trees, Rabbit gasped. The bird laughed. Much further than that. I come from a land full of sunshine, where there's no snow, no ice, and no frost. I fly thousands of miles just to get there and back. I get tired, but I never get lost. Through dark, stormy skies, through the wind and the rain, I soar over mountains and trees. I dip into rivers to drink and then follow them down to the seas. I glide over sun-sparkled oceans, where dolphins all leap up to greet me, and whales wink an eye as they see me swoop by, and the seals are delighted to see me. In steamy rainforests I sleep through the day, and nobody knows that I'm there. Then at dusk I take flight in the silver moonlight and pluck fireflies out of the air. So why did you come back, yawned Rabbit? To find a new wife, the bird said. And it's high time that I started looking and time you were tucked up in bed. The bird swooped up high and by moonlight he showed himself off at his best. He flashed his white feathers, his wings clapped together, and someone was rather impressed. The bird and his wife raised a family. In a few weeks, their chicks all took flight, but he still found the time to tell stories to a wide-eyed young rabbit each night. The warm, balmy evening in late August. It's time, the bird said, I must go. Please don't shed a tear, I'll come back next year, but there's something I'm dying to know. I said you could choose what to call me. What did you decide in the end? Am I the night jar, the lich flower, the fern owl? The rabbit said no, just my friend.